Hey guys, so today we're going to do tricks and tips on straightening your hair and like the products that I use to straighten my hair. Um, I have naturally wavy hair so I usually just wear it like that a lot but I do straighten it sometimes and I'm going to share my um, tricks and tips on how I get really straight hair or with more volume than just pin straight hair. So um, I did just wash my hair. I wanted to show you guys some of the products I use um, before I blow dry. Um, I am really big into Kenra's products. I've used them since I was like 15 years old because I worked at a hair salon when I was actually a tanning salon, but it was with a hair salon. So I've always been using products like that. So when I wear my hair straight, it can look thin if I straighten it all over. And I don't like to do that. I like to give it more volume so it looks fuller. You know, of course, I have to blow dry it. And the product I like using on my hair is the blow dry spray from Kenra. You just spray this on. It's a blow drying protectant because of the heat. I'm really big about using protectants on your hair because I went into cosmetology school and we pretty much fried our hair. <laughs> And um, I had really bad hair for a long time. I've just now gotten my hair back into good shape, so I really want to keep it that way. So it smells mm, so good. But you just, it says to shake before you, so I just realized it said that. Um, but you just spray it on um, your damp hair. I wish you guys could smell it because it smells so good. But um, I like to put that on that and um, you don't want to, when your hair is wet and you get out of the shower, I know it's faster, but you don't want to use just um, a hairbrush and just brush your hair because that breaks your hair and it's, it's so not good for your hair. You either want to pick it or comb it. So if I'm wearing my hair curly or my natural wave, I pick it. And then I just style it however I'm going to style it. Um, I do that actually when I'm wearing it straight too. Um, they do make, if you are impatient, they do make those wet brushes. I'm not sure if you can get them at CVS. I know that they have them at Cosmoprof, but you can only get them at Cosmoprof if you have a license. Um, Sally's might have them. I'm really not sure. I can try to find out for you guys. Um, just leave, um, just comment below if you want me to find out and I can find out if you need me. To see if they have them at Sally's or not. But um, yeah, those are really good too, especially if you're like in a hurry on the go. You don't have time to pick your hair or, you know, comb it out. Those wet brushes do help out a lot. So the other thing I do like to put in my hair is like a keratin oil. Um, I used to use the It's a 10 Miracle Plus Keratin Oil. Um, it just looks like this. It's just like in a pump. I used to use that, but honestly, there's kind of some dust on it. <laughs> I don't use it that much anymore. Um, the product I really like using, I don't know why, but I think it's because I put it on dry hair too. Like every night before I go to bed, I put oil in my hair. My hair is like extremely, extremely dry. Um, sorry. Okay, this is just the um, organics, and I know you can get this at Walmart, CVS, or anywhere. This is the Renewing Argon Oil um, of Morocco, and it's just a penetrating oil. I've used this for the last like two or three years, and I absolutely love it. I put it in my hair, like I said, at night before bed, and then I'll put it in like right before I blow dry it. And I just put like about that much, and then I just kind of rub it in like this, and I just put it on the ends of my hair. Whenever, I'm not going to film me blow drying my hair, so I'll come back, but I do want to tell you guys really quickly, um, whenever you blow dry your hair and you're worried about like, I have a lot of um, frizzy hair in the top of my hair, so I blow dry my hair down. That'll make sure like all the hair is going down and all the little, if you have breakage or any baby hairs, they will go down with your natural It'll blow dry them down so that they won't be sticking up. Um, if you're going to blow dry your hair like upside down and then you like come back up, 
it's gonna, all those hairs are gonna be sticking back up because that's how you blow dry them. It does give you more volume, but it's not worth it to me. I would rather have like my hair look straighter on top and less volume and put product in it later on to make more volume than for me to have a bunch of flyaways all over my head. So I use a wet brush and then I just blow dry my hair down. Okay, so I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got done blow drying my hair. Um, I honestly would leave it like this because it just, I feel like it looks natural. Um, I will, if you ever have like a few hairs, just go over the, it with a straightener, but you could totally leave your hair, if you have hair like mine, you could totally leave it like this. But if you're wanting pin straight hair, um, you always, first off, you always want to do use a um, heat protectant before you straighten it. I use the one by Scruples. It's just the um, Hyper Shine Repair Spray, and um, it just says it helps hair helps repair and leaves hair looking healthy, smooths and seals when used with heating tools. Um, contains conditioning argon oil and adds shine. So you just spray this wherever you're going to straighten your hair, which if you're going to straighten it all over, then you might as well just spray it all over. Um, but whenever you're straightening your hair, um, I'm just using this straightener. I got it at Sally's. I've learned that it doesn't matter with my hair because I don't have like really thick, coarse hair. I don't need like a really high temperature um, straightener or anything like that. If you do have really curly hair and it's like thick and coarse, you do want to purchase a nicer um, straightener. I do real. I have realized um, over the years I've had really expensive straighteners and I've had really cheap um, straighteners. With my hair, the only difference I have noticed is some straighteners. If you get one like I've had like Walmart straighteners, for instance, I think it's like Revlon brand. Um, if you run your hair over that or through that straightener. It seems like the cheaper ones, like from Walmart, they they pull your hair. I don't know why that is, but it's like it grabs it and pulls it. Um, I've only had this one from Sally's, so and it doesn't do that with my hair. I think I only paid like 20 bucks for it. Um, I honestly think that's how much they are when you get them at Walmart. But I've had ones that are like, you know, 150 bucks. I've had the Chi, I've had the GHD, um, and I honestly don't really see that much of a difference other than they get you know, hotter and they'll have, they'll turn off or it only takes 20 seconds to heat up, things like that. Um, but this one works fine with me because I don't really straighten my hair that often. So, um, first off, I always think it's best if you want your hair completely straight, I mean straight, straight, you want to section your hair off. What I always do is, see I get like how it curls right there. I don't care because I can't see that, but I mean some people do care. So I'm just going to show you the steps that you want to take. Okay, I always go back through and I'll like respray it. Especially because it's underneath and more than likely you probably didn't get to that. Okay, and then I actually divide it again. The key is... When you're straightening your hair, you don't want, I noticed a lot of people, they'll go, you know how many times you go over this, that's like damaging your hair five times worse. It's already bad enough that you're using, you know, a straightener on it. Um, you definitely don't want to keep going over it and going over it because that just breaks it and it's just not good for your hair. So, um, what I like to do is I get the smallest piece and I go close as I can and you just want to go over it really really slow not stop don't stop because you your hair will break but um yeah it, it I just think it looks so much better and if you do need to go over it like in one spot just make sure you go over it one time don't sit there. Yeah, you might be in a hurry. You know how many times you straighten that? It's seriously going to break your hair off. Okay. So, I'm not going to show you, like, 
the whole head, but that's the main thing. Pretty much, if you just take your time and just go over it one time instead of a thousand, then you won't have to worry about it. Look how straight. See? You don't need to go over it a thousand times. I have no idea who that is. I'm not answering it. New York. New York. <laughs> Couple other tricks. Like, if I'm going to wear my hair like this, I do not like... I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have some hairs that are still sticking out. And I don't like that. So, what I'll do is... Spray this again. I'm like... You guys, I'm seriously like obsessed with protecting my hair now. You guys don't realize my hair was fried, fried. Okay, so I'll just take like that little bitty piece and go over that piece. No reason to straighten all that hair for that one piece. Same with this. I'll just take this top, go over it. And that's pretty much all I'll do with my hair. And then to get more volume, I'll show you guys um, a product I am loving. I have been using this for a lot. I really hope no one's here because my husband's not home and I will freak out. So when I want more volume and my hair is straighter, I do this even when my hair is scrunched. Um, I use the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. This is what I'll just do. You just put it in your hand. Oh, and I want to tell you guys, I'm sorry about my background. I live in Indiana, so I have like no outside lighting after five o'clock because the sun's already down. So um, that's why I'm filming right here and you can probably see my toilet in the background. I'm really sorry. I'm sitting at my vanity in my bathroom. So I'm sorry for the nasty looking bathroom. We're remodeling too, so. But um, anyway. You just want to put that powder in your hand and then you just want to put it on your root and massage it in and you want to do it you want to do it in sections so okay I'll show you this side like I would normally do it right there do it underneath do it up here do it on the other side also um, I'll show you on this side though, because this side's a lot flatter anyway. It's hard to tell at first when you only just use one spot, but you'll be able to tell more on this side. I'm literally just massaging it in. And then, you know, you don't want it like poofing out huge. There is one more thing I want to tell you guys. Um, you know, this powder play seriously is amazing. I'll just throw up my purse because sometimes it will drop a little bit. If you're nervous about it dropping or anything, just use like a light, um, hairspray. I know Kendra makes a texture spray and I'll use that sometimes and I'll just, I'll just put, put it in sections and then I'll just spray the root and then just, you know, pretty much massage it in and I think it lasts longer when I use that texture spray. The texture spray is only like, it's not like a hairspray, it's almost like just a light coat of hairspray. It's so lightweight and it's just so much better if you don't want your hair to look, you know, crunchy or anything like that, that hairspray is amazing. So I'm sure that you can get that at Ulta. If not, then they'll have it, you know, at a local beauty salon. I really hope you guys like my video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.